Estimates are that about one out of every 200 births in the cattle industry will be twins. Well, obviously, there's going to be some cow families that have higher incidence of twins than others, but that's at least an estimate. Why is that important? Well, I think we need to understand that anytime we have twins where we have both sexes represented, we need to be aware of the fact that the heifer calf is probably not going to be one that's sound enough to save as a replacement. This is a situation that there is called free martins. Whenever we have twins of the different sexes, the male calf's reproductive tract will develop a little bit ahead of the female fetus. And as you kind of see by this particular drawing, there's an exchange of the blood supply while these calves are gestating in the mama cow. When they're born, then we'll have a normal male calf and a female calf with a very underdeveloped reproductive tract. They're called free martins. The statistics say that 95% of free martin heifers are incapable of reproducing. So if we have some twins born this spring or any calving season, and one of them's a heifer calf, let's go ahead and mark that down in our calving book in our records, keep track of that heifer. Let's go ahead and market her at weaning time. Make certain that she doesn't end up in our replacement heifer group because there's a very, very high likelihood that she's incapable of ever being a cow. Well, that's the story of free martins. A heifer born twin to a bull is one that we want to mark down that we're going to make sure that we sell and call it weaning time. Hey, we'll visit with you again next week on Sunups Cow Calf Corner. <music>